Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we're down at the allotment again. It's nice and early. Came down so I could see what's going on early in the morning. Let my cameraman come up. As you can see, I look in here and I can see my pack trolleys getting eaten. And I can see like a caterpillar or something on them. Don't know how that got in, in, but they're eating my thing. My Rashidios as well is getting munched as well. They're not touching the cow. So, in my polytunnel, I spotted a few snails. You can see them from the inside. You can see them on the thing. So, I'm going to deal with those in a minute. But the first thing I've got to do I'm still not a hundred percent but I'm getting there just getting these bits of grass out of here pain I need to strim again but um, I need to be like near a hundred to get the strimmer on and you know keep it running for a while so here I had some tomatoes what was in the polytunnel and these are this is a peach f1 it was in the polytunnel so as you can see the way it's grown we're very weird but I'm gonna get these in I think yeah these are all peach so I'm gonna get these in and get them sticks in and tied up and then I'll be back with you in a minute right everybody so got my tomatoes planted and that and I'm just working on the polytunnel I've just done some of my chilies and that there was a lot of um, leaves what fell off I don't know why I think it's the heater, so I'm just checking my scotch bonnets, doing the same with those. All the yellow leaves and everything, just getting those off. And as you can see, you've got the blinking pains in the neck, neck already. So I'm just getting all, all, all these loose loose stuff off and then putting them back in back where they go. Hopefully that will help put a little bit more strength into the into the plant itself. You can see they've got little scotch bonnets on them, nothing to write home about. usually have big scotch bonnets on them by now but it is what it is all the leaves what you don't like the look of right so I'm gonna do this and get these back in then I'm gonna give everything a good water in and then I'm gonna see if I can make a start on something else me while I'm here and we're all good to go so I'm going to put these two back get the other two and then I'll be back with you in a minute right everybody so <coughs> dump um, my scotch bonnets in there I'm going to water them in it water everything in a minute and I've just quickly line this it's just lined roughly just to 
keep things in and then I'm gonna we're gonna start the task of getting all this chopped up and as flat as we can so we can get that rid of all that stuff so that's what my next um, task is I don't know how much we can do today because my body's still not recovered 100% but you know it's just one of those things what you just have to keep persevering otherwise you just leave things and they never get done Me and my cameraman are gonna. I think the best thing for me to do is water first, get that out of the way just in case, and then see if we can get some of these thicker logs at the bottom and that and to hold down this plastic. So I'll be back with you in a minute. Right, everybody, so managed to water and everything. And we started getting some of these twigs in. Still got that that bit left. But once it's all in, then I'll start trampling it, getting it down. Because I'm going to fill this bed up. Just waiting for them to bring round some on the manure. Which there isn't any round at the moment. Oh. My body's just completely knackered. What I might do, once I've filled it in, I might get a um, few barrel loads of the wood chip and put that down to, you know, start the rottening process and put some accelerator on it and then put the manure on top of that and then a um, I want about uh, 8 to 10 inch layer of um, compost on top so I can get some things in this bed as well. So if you like our videos please remember to like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell another friend. If you want to leave a comment you can leave a comment in the comment section. At the moment it's just starting to sprinkle so I need to get out of this. Oh, God don't want to catch anything else so I'm going to leave that pile till next time and then we should be good to go once I've got that pile sorted then I can get um, walk this trimmed again and chuck the um, grass cuttings and everything on top of here as well so then I'm going to start getting these two piles out see what's in them Most might um, put some of that at the bottom as well just get it all out and so it can start rotting down and everything so I hope you all enjoyed this one I know it's not, nothing much there's not a lot I can do at the moment until my body gets back to where it should be saying that now the sun's decided to come out but it's all good so we've got all that to go in there and I don't know about that pile around there if it can fit or if I can get it lower or anything but I'll see if I can get the bigger logs in there I'll put the bigger logs in and let them rot them down so thanks for watching and i'll see you all on the next one you take care until then